what's going on guys today I'm going to show you how to properly do a cylinder leak down test on a four-stroke engine this will be the same for a car engine a bike engine a lawnmower engine as you can see here that I have here today um, anything that has valves valve train and it's a four-stroke this process should be exactly the same um, this engine has some type of a problem I'm trying to diagnose it and make sure what's going on with it and try to try to get it fixed so today I'm going to do a cylinder leak down test on it I'm going to make sure my valves are sealed I don't have any broken piston rings I don't have any leakage from my cylinders so that's what we're doing today please hit that like and subscribe button it helps my algorithm I just got my channel monetized and um, trying to make some good quality content for you guys to watch and I know my mechanic work I've been doing mechanic work for over 20 years and I'm good at it so I'm going to share this knowledge with you guys and um, I'm sure there's plenty of other people on YouTube that have already shared this but I just had this engine in a good spot where you can see the valves working and you can see the everything going on and I can explain it in detail what you got to do so I'm going to share it with y'all and here we go so the tool we're going to be using today is a Mac Tools Differential Cylinder Pressure Tester. It's part number CLD210M. I've had it for quite a few years. It's a really great cylinder leakage tester. It came with this hose. There's three adapters in case your spark plug is a different size than this thread here. My spark plug is the same size as this thread. So the way this thing works is you introduce air here on this air fitting. There's a valve. This valve sends pressure into this gauge. It, in turn, it sends pressure into this gauge and down through the hose into the cylinder. If the cylinder's leaking, it'll give you a percentage of leak. So, for instance, if this gauge is at 100 and this gauge is at 70, you have 30% cylinder leakage. If this gauge is at 100 and this gauge is at 95, you have 5% cylinder leakage. An acceptable amount of cylinder leakage on a high mileage worn engine should be around 90, uh, 10%. So this gauge should be at 100 and this gauge should be no less than 90 on a worn out old 100,000 mile engine, 200,000 mile engine. If you have more than 10% cylinder leakage, chances are you have a problem. Something's not sealing up. The valves are not sealing. The rings are wore out. You got some type of a problem so now we're going to hook this thing up and i'm going to show you how to do it i'm going to start with this cylinder here this is a two cylinder i think it's a 21 horsepower briggs and stratton nope it's a 23 horsepower briggs and stratton intec v-twin So we have a twin cylinder, 23 horsepower lawnmower engine. I've got the valve covers off of it. I'm gonna set my valve lash here after a while. I haven't done it yet. So I'm gonna start turning this engine by hand. I've got both spark plugs removed so it turns easily. This is gonna be the intake valve. And this is gonna be the exhaust valve. So the exhaust valve is opening on this on the exhaust stroke it's closed now the intake valve is opening so that's the intake stroke sucking air into the cylinder once the intake valve closes that piston is on its way back up for the compression stroke so what you got to do wait till that intake valve closes if you're on a car and you have your valve covers closed you can use a bore scope to look inside the cylinder while you're turning the engine by hand and make sure the intake valve is closing once that intake valve closes, you're going to look inside the piston, the spark plug hole. It could be really hard to see in there if you're on a vehicle that has, you know, limited viewpoint. But with me, I can see pretty good inside this hole. Hopefully you guys can see in there, but I'm watching for that piston to come up. I see it coming up. It's coming up. Once that piston gets to top dead center and starts back down, I'm going to stop. I'm going to back it up until it's right on top dead center. You want it directly on top dead center. So now both valves are closed. You have lash in both of these valve springs. Or in both of these rocker arms where the valve springs are closed tight against the cylinder head. Your piston is all the way up. 
Now, I'm gonna take my hose and thread it into the cylinder. Into the spark plug hole. There's an O-ring on that hose. You just wanna get it tight against that O-ring so you don't have any leakage. So after you've gotten your cylinder on top dead center with both valve closed, you've got your hose installed into your spark plug hole. I'm gonna hook this hose into the feed side of my tester. And then I'm gonna hook the air hose to the air side of the tester. And I'm gonna start turning up the pressure. I'm gonna watch for that crankshaft to turn. If that crankshaft turns, I have to reevaluate. So I have right at 10% cylinder leakage. So that's that's within manufacturer recommended specifications for a four-stroke engine. I'm right at 10% cylinder leakage. And actually earlier when I tested it, it was closer to 5%. So let me uh go test this other cylinder. See what we got on the other side. My exhaust valve is open. I turn it over till the intake opens. Intake is open. Now the intake is closed. That means it's on the compression stroke. I'm going to look inside here. I see my piston coming up. Piston came up and started back down. So that's top dead center. Now I'm going to screw my hose back in this side. I'm gonna do the same test. Turn my regulator up. So that cylinder is showing 3% cylinder leakage. That's closer to what it was on the other side when I checked it a while ago. So there may be something wrong with that cylinder that's intermittent because the last time I checked it, it was up higher than it was this time when I checked it. So I may need to look closer into this, which I need to adjust the valve lash anyway. So once I do that, it may change my readings. Um, if I need to, I'll take this head off and see if there's anything wrong with the valves. But that's how you do a cylinder leakage test properly on a four-stroke engine. It's the same on any engine. It just may be a lot harder to see down in the cylinder. You may need a bore scope to look down in there. Some four-cylinders, you can look directly down in the top of the engine. And you can see the piston coming up to top dead center. It's easy to pop the valve cover off on some four-cylinders. And this will tell you... If you have valve leakage or exhaust valve intake, which valve is leaking, or if your rings are broke, it'll tell you that your pressure is leaking into your crankcase. And the way you tell where this pressure is going, if you do have a leak that's over specification, the way you can tell where the pressure is going is you'll hear it. It'll be coming out of the intake. You can use a, st a stethoscope with a tube on it connected to it. You can use a funnel, something to put on your ear. You can stick it in the intake. You'll hear that air leaking past that intake valve back into the intake. Or you can stick something in the exhaust and you'll hear the air leaking through the exhaust valve back into the exhaust. If it's not leaking from the intake or the exhaust, you can go to your oil cap. You can hear the air leaking down into the crankcase itself. And then you'll know where your problem is going. So if you got broken rings, you're going to have air going into your crankcase. If you have a leaking exhaust valve, you're going to have air leaking into your exhaust. If you have a leaking intake valve, you're going to have air leaking into your intake manifold. 
So that's how you do a cylinder leakage test on a four-stroke engine. Again, thanks for watching the Hillbilly Hard YouTube channel, and have a nice day.